Good day, YouTube. I think it's the 29th of October to Tuesday, 2019. I have a video up where I took this Centec 3-in-1 portable power pack that I bought at Harbor Freight some years ago. Actually, my wife did give it to me for Christmas. It was on my list. And uh, we replaced the battery in it. Um, because it just simply wasn't working well. And uh, fast forward to today, I can't remember how long ago that was. Um, the charger in this thing doesn't really work the best either. And some folks that have watched that video have left some comments that they simply charge this battery pack with a battery charger. And uh, so lately, that's how I've been charging this battery pack also. But one of my uh, subscribers chimed in and says, what about charge it with a solar panel? And I go, ooh, good idea. Why won't it work? Yeah, it absolutely would. I think I have enough stuff to uh, test the theory. I have a small panel that I actually have a cigarette lighter plug in for, um, might have seen it on one of my other videos. If you're a subscriber and you watch a lot of my videos, we use it on my dad's Dodge truck that he parks for the season since about nine months a year and I put that on the dash and plugged it in we tested it before we took it out there seemed like it worked great the downside is his cigarette lighter plug does not stay hot with the key off so it sat out there for months or weeks and did nothing <laughs> so it's totally useless on his truck because a cigarette lighter plug isn't live all the time but it will work on other vehicles that I have like my super duty the plug does stay hot when the key is off, and that's the way they all ought to be. Come on, people. Um, so I'll keep that little solar panel around for other things, but I think we'll test it here. So I think what I'll do is take this thing outside. It's been charging for a little while because it was it was dead. Um, it's been charging for a few hours. I have this plugged into a cord on a cord reel. It's actually wired into my lights. So that if I have to leave in a hurry, I plug things into that cord reel that I want to go off when I leave and I shut the lights off. And that's something I've done here. I didn't want this thing to sit there and charge all the time. I don't know if it'll burn the battery up or what, but it charges when I come in and turn the lights on. Um, I have little setups like that all over. Let me take this thing outside, grab a voltmeter, my little solar panel. We'll take a reading, a uh, volt reading on it, and then we'll plug the panel in and just prove that absolutely it'll charge on a solar panel. Be back in a flash. All right, we got our setup out on the tailgate of my truck. This is a little five watt panel. So that's gonna be less than half an amp or right at half an amp. <clears throat> so like a little trickle charge. So right now we're reading 11.6 volts. And uh, like I said, I have this thing plugged into a battery charger. I just did this like on Sunday and it's on only when I'm here. And that was Sunday and that was just now. So it hasn't charged very much, um, so the battery's not up very much because I had run it purposely all the way dead, just trying to cycle that battery. So um, the key is, will it charge? I have this cigarette lighter plug uh, attached to the cord that came factory on this little solar panel, and uh, it's facing, almost facing right into the sun. And so all we have to do is plug this in and watch it charge. So, without further ado, plugged it in. So we went from what 11 something to 12.2, 12.23, and it's climbing. It's pretty. Let me see if I can turn it just a little bit, adjust it little more into the sun and maybe even shade the meter that's pretty close to dead on <clears throat> so you can absolutely charge your battery pack with solar panel good question the other thing is to keep in mind though there's no regulation on that um, solar panel so you've got the potential for about a half an amp where the battery becomes fully charged 
there's nothing that's going to slow that solar panel down in direct sunlight. Um, it's just going to keep providing. Um, this panel's rated at five volts. Oh, excuse me, five watts at 18 volts. I can't put myself in a spot to get some sun and show you. Here. All right, we'll assume. Let me get my. Uh, there we go. Five watts at 18 volts. So, if you put five watts at 18 volts into that battery for long enough, you will have problems. You'll basically burn the battery up in time. Um, if you watch it, or you unplug it every day, or something, put a voltmeter on it, do something to um, keep that from occurring, or jump out and buy you a uh, solar panel charge controller. They're very inexpensive and uh, use that. Do um, you see my shed over here on this end? I have a 100 watt solar panel. So that was a five watt. This is 20 times that. And I'll show you my charge controller. Sorry for the mess. This is what I call my solar shed. So I usually buy pretty decent charge controllers because they are so inexpensive. But you can see this thing is all the green lights are lit. I mean, it's charged. It's topped off. It's at 14.1, 14.2 volts. And that's it. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to hurt the battery. That's as charged as we get. It has basically shut down. The solar panel's doing nobody any good. Down in there is my one... Group 27 deep cycle battery, and that's all I've got in here. I've got just 12 volt lights, 12 volt TV, you know, AM, FM, CD out of a motorhome or something. I got at a yard sale, um, and just a row of lights down the center, and a little porch light. That's what I have in here. They're just all LEDs. Um, if I'm typically out here only on a weekend, then I literally can't run it dead. So that's what I have out here. So, solar, absolutely. But don't run your battery dead. Pick up a little charge controller. Now we're back here at the little solar panel and she's just been charging away. We're at 12.59 volts. Let's just unplug it real quick. See what, it'll settle down eventually, but. She's definitely doing some good. So I appreciate your comment. That was awesome. Give us a little experiment. A little something to try. A little something to show and tell. And uh, absolutely, especially if you're going camping or a bug out situation or you're a prepper like me, <laughs> like some of the others. Great idea. Um, great stuff to have handy. And uh, it would do somebody a lot of good. So thanks for the comment. Appreciate that. We'll catch you guys uh, on the next video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up button. That helps so much uh, get my videos seen by others. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you've already subscribed, thanks for coming back. We'll catch you on the next one.